Welcome to Sense Talk. My name's Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for large updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. As well, please check out our sponsor, cgiant.ca, using the code Sense Talk to get discounts on your standard tickets, and our website, sensetalkcentral.com. We update it every single day. Uh, before we get into tonight's game, we have some notes to talk about. Um, tonight's game was Derek Broussard's 700th career National Hockey League game, so congratulations to you, Derek Broussard. Continuing with Derek Broussard, his trade rumors are picking up. The Sharks and uh, Penguins are very, very interested in the center. Uh, he has scored 16 goals this season. Um, and, you know, um, like I said in my Sense Trade Rumor video, Tristan Yari is reportedly um, in the eyes of the Ottawa Senators. They want a young goaltender, and Tristan Yari fits the bill for the Senators. So I, I personally do believe if Broussard is going to go to the Penguins, I, I don't see how Tristan Yari, Tristan Yari doesn't come back in the deal. Same thing with the Sharks. Um, Aaron Dell is a good backup there, so... Maybe the Sens would send Anderson and Broussard. I don't know, but I don't see how the Sanders, uh finish the deadline without a goalie uh, acquisition of a, a starting Cape caliber young goalie. That's just my opinion, but that may not happen. You never know with this team. Speak, going on with the deadline, the deadline is in a week. Exactly a week, and I can't confirm it, but I am 95% sure I'm going to have a very exciting host for you guys. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Um... It's very exciting. Uh, it's not confirmed, so I'm not going to spoil it for you guys and girls. But uh, it's going to be very special if he can join the show. Um, and you guys and girls will very much enjoy him. Uh, he's uh, when, when, I, when I can announce it, you guys will be very excited um, with the, the host I'm going to have uh, for, the, for the trade deadline live stream on February 26th. Nothing, to, nothing official there, though, so I'll tell you when it's official if, it, if we get it done. Uh, the uh, agreement done. Um, but uh, sticking with the Sanders now, the Sanders have now won six of their last nine going into tonight's game. The tank, not good for the tank. Buffalo lost tonight. The Sanders need to keep pace with the Buffalo Sabres for Rasmus Dahlin. Um, but uh, since the Devils, not the Devils, since the Sabres lost, um, cause currently the Sanders are four points out. If the Sanders would lose, I mean, win today, they'd be six points out behind the Sabres. Um, let's get to the Olympics before the Sens game. The Team Canada women's beat the Olympic athletes of Russia today 5 nothing, and is going to the finals against, of course, the United States of America. That game is on Wednesday at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I'll be watching. Very late, but I'll be watching for Team Canada. Hopefully the women can pull it out there. I seen with the Team Canada men's, they uh, got a bye week. Uh, not a bye week, but they like, got a bye. They're off to the quarterfinals to play, um, I think it was Finland or uh, uh, Sweden. I don't know, something like that. or I don't know. They're, they're facing one of those lower tier teams. Um, but let's get into tonight's game. Sanders are playing Nashville Predators. Second time the Sanders have faced Kyle Turris and the Predators. The starting goalies for tonight's game is Pekka Rene. For the Predators, who's been as hot as of late, winning his last 11 out of 13, I believe. And Craig Anderson, who's won five in a row. So the first period we go. Sanders start out very well. And as usual, like the season goes, first goal. Ten minutes in, Roman Yossi lets it rip from the point. His tenth of the season, assisted by Ryan Ellis and the former Sander, Kyle Turris. His first point against the Sanders on the power play, and the Predators lead 1-0. Momentarily later, Victor Arvidsson gets the goal. It's a 2-0 lead. No chance for Anderson. A puck was right in the blue paint and batted in by Arvidsson. It's 19th of the year, assisted by Ryan Johansson and Philip Forsberg. But the Sanders get a goal back. The, 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 the Sanders puck management really pays off here. Bijan Gabriel Bajo shoots one in past Rennie on the power play. No chance for him. Short side there. Two in Sanders, assisted by Mark Stone and Eric Carlson. Pajot's eighth of the year and a power play goal for Jean Gabriel Pajot. Penguins have been interested in Pajot as well. Uh, to the second period, we go now. Seven minutes in. Ryan Ellis lets it rip from the point. The Predators defensemen are just too good for any NHL team, especially the Sanders, who are not doing well this year. Sanders got to stay out of the box. Once again, Predators get a, a power play goal. This is by Ryan, Ryan Yossi and Kevin Fiala on Ellis' fourth of the year. Uh, and it is now a 3-1 Predators lead. Moments later, Sanders are not just giving up without a fight. Max McCormick got a nice pass from Clayson. Shoots it bar in past Pekka Rene. 
Max McCormick, his second of the season, making a point to stay up in the lineup. And the first point of his Senators day, uh, career is Nick Shore getting the assist. Welcome to the Senators, Nick Shore. His first point is an Ottawa Senator. But back and forth game. Two minutes later, Victor Arvidsson, bingo, bango, bongo. It's a goal for Victor Arvidsson after a turnover, turnover from Forsberg from Carlson. Carlson tried to play it up. Forsberg turn, uh, took the puck away after an awful turnover from Eric Carlson. Arvidsson all alone, and Anderson rips the blocker side. We go to the third period with the Predators up 4-2. 5-2 now. Smith on a 2-1 on one on a beautiful pass from Fiallo. Rips it past Greg Anderson. No chance for him as he sprawls. The Predators win this game 5-2, and the Sanders are back into tank mode. It looks like they were... They started off so well, but just so many bad mistake, uh, defensive mistakes and so many um, um, turnovers that cost them, and especially the, the amount of penalties they took really cost them as well, considering the Predators are such a lethal uh, team from the point uh, in a power play. They have four, four or five defensemen that can run a power play, so that really killed them tonight. The final shots and goal, 41-38 uh, Predators. Uh, let's talk about the power play. Power play for the Predators went two for five. Ottawa went one for three. The three stars of the game. Third star from the San, from the Predators. Sorry, Philip Forsberg with two assists on the night. Uh, plus two rating, fifteen forty three of uh, ice time. The second star Ryan Ellis with a goal and assist. And the first star Victor Arvidsson. Nine shots on goal and two goals. Anderson just kept on robbing him. Didn't let him get. Didn't let him get that hat trick. He was the first star of the game. Since talk YouTube star of the night. Ah, uh, this is a tough one. You know, there was a there was a lot of um, back and forth going here and there. Um, if I'm gonna have to give it to somebody, uh, you know, Broussard looked good tonight. Uh, Shabbat had a nice chance. Um, I don't really know who the star would be. It was just horrible defensively, but offensively they looked good. So I guess I'm gonna give it to anyone who could be Broussard. Um, he had a couple of chances, uh, set up a couple of nice plays. So Broussard, I guess, would be the sense talk YouTube star of the night. But the Sanders defense really played well in general, but um, like offensively wise. Uh, but Broussard, with the sense talk YouTube star of the night, and that will help him with the trade uh, value. Um, but besides that, the Sanders loses game five to two. The Sanders play their next game in two days. Against the lowly Chicago Blackhawks, yeah, lowly. They're like twelve points out of a playoff spot currently. They're uh, they're they're sellers this deadline, which is weird to say. The Blackhawks will not make the playoffs. So two teams, you know, uh, high expectations this year. Both teams not performing to their capabilities, and uh, they're gonna play each other Wednesday in Chicago on February twenty first um, at uh, eight p.m. Eastern time in Chicago. So that's a couple days before the. Uh, that's in that game will be five days before the deadline. We have a couple days now between this game and that game. I don't see how the Sanders don't make a trade in this period. We'll see, but I really see a Sanders trade the next time I make a video. So we'll see what happens, and I'll see you then. So thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. For live stream updates of the games, and of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook at SenseTalk. Add us to your on Google Plus and SenseTalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video, share this video, wherever share cool stuff. Please, please, please check out our website, sensetalkcentral.com. We update it every single day as well. Please check out our sponsor, cjine.ca. Use the code sensetalk to get discounts on your Sanders tickets. Please click right here for our season playlist, right here for our most recent upload, and right here to subscribe to us. Thank you all for watching. The Sanders lose this one 5-2. I'll see you Wednesday when the Sanders take on Chicago Blackhawks. I'll see you then. Go Sens go.